I am Isis, beloved ones. I come to you today enfolding you in this love. And I remind you that everything is consciousness. Everything is full of life. Because creation is a hologram and all I am is present in every single part. I want to remind you also that every energy shift must be held by consciousness and that you, beloved ones, as the glorious Creator's heart has consciousness as vast as all that is. This incubation period is one of necessary rest and quiet contemplation. It is the gathering of resources and balancing of the energies that inhabit your physical selves. This period of incubation then is required for you to properly integrate the energies of forward movement into the all of creation. The process of creation is a constant, yet your awareness of such is clearly a choice. Those who choose to focus on the changes that are taking place are those who have an opportunity to teach others through the very experience of it. What we'd like to remind you of is your ability to ease the incubation period required before a major turning of energy of outward expression in the physical world. The point by which you perceive reality is being sharply altered and the fine tuned at this moment. Your axis is realigning from the fundamental and core belief structures that inhabit you. These belief structures and the infinite perceptions that have moulded you and created your influence on the world. Now in this restructuring period those elements that made up your conscious choices are transforming. Therefore so much your surroundings altered to match the new vibrations of your matter. This is the reconnection that many refer to in many of these times. The reconnection to your multidimensional selves is required to bring you into a state of solar harmony. You are ascending from the finite to the infinite realms. And this process is no small undertaking. In fact, it is the most challenging process of human existence, but one that brings you vast rewards in accomplishing. Remember then to care for yourselves during these down times and honour the cycle of transformation, as it is a highly intelligent process of expansion. Your resistance is futile, for your bodies know best. Honour your body and it will reward you in earnest. Before you now is a period of great restructuring, a process that will include the makeup of your new and sharply focused minds. This focus is the state of clarity that beckons at the heart of each of you. The clarity of knowing without doubt what you must do to live life to the fullest expression of self. This unmitigated clarity is the state of the infinite and it is the state of consciousness that many of you are ascending to now. There is a leap of conscious awareness 
developing for those who have dropped the required amount of destiny. This is a rebirthing process of sorts, one that is far-reaching into every aspect of life on earth. The sudden realization of outcomes is possible in this space, as is the sudden healing of many ails. This process is merely a slipping into place akin to a spinal adjustment where the body, mind and spirit immersed in an environment of harmony capable of mitigating hospitality or inconsistent with the flow of revitalizing life force energy. If this rebirth is calling to you Honour its request by listening to your body and respecting its needs in this very vulnerable time of metamorphosis. Now go into your heart now and feel is this the time for your rebirth? Is it calling to you? before we go any further. Just ask your heart. Your heart will always tell you the truth. Now, this energetic flow is an uninterrupted connection to the oneness of life, the clear knowing and understanding of the universal tides and the realization of cosmic alignment. It is the space of clear and conscious creativity where one is capable of accessing and implementing divinely inspired ideas for the betterment of life. This co connectivity is akin, akin to the ease and synchronicity of a life in universal rhythm. It is the ebb and flow, the breathing in and out of creative forces in perfect and divine timing. It is the quiet of the storm that surrounds you and the ability to harness the potential of each step you take in life. The waxing and the waning of creation is circular as is every created life form in the universe. This circular process brings harmony to life and forward movement in evolution. As you wrap up the current cycle of your lives, take notice of the ways in which you are pulled toward this or that for the pulls of the next cycle of your creations are beckoning you now. The next step you take in this powerful year of manifestation are ones that will mark your journey into the next major cycle of your individual and collective lives. The cycles of life must not only be honoured but also utilised to their maximum potential for mastery. These cycles can be easily felt if you mind the feelings in your heart and ride the tide of cosmic wonder to your destiny. Awaiting you now is the beginning of a new phase of creation 
for yourselves and your world. How will you utilize this last cycle to influence the next? What choices will you make for the betterment of mankind? What thoughts and outworn behaviours will you leave in the old world before you step into the new? Beloved ones, I wish to remind you of your power to create the miracles that you long for. I wish to remind each of you of your goodness and your ability to influence others who are only now beginning the cycle you have nearly completed. This is the way of the light bearer to illuminate the part of life that you came here to master and to show this light to all who are drawn to it. Each of you will have your own particular expression of truth and each of you will attract those who are like-minded. We are especially delighted to accompany you on your journey to personal mastery and we nudge and guide you towards greatness always. For greatness is the very truth of your existence. Greatness is the story you will share. And greatness is the oneness of life in harmonic accord. As this current cycle wanes you are undoubtedly on the cusp of great closure the waxing of the new life cycle can be moulded with your dedication and awareness and much support is available to you now. Use this time of great force to create all that you dream of. Your awareness was necessary to bring you into full alignment with the truth of creation but it can only be employed with your deliberate action. You know already you can each have a support guide to call upon that you will need to carry out the great plans for a united world. So go forth now, beloved ones, the Masters and I, Isis, watch over you so no need for any goodbyes, but many blessings of love. Till we speak again, I give thanks for being here to listen to my words today of encouragement. Namaste, and I give thanks for the messenger that Rosalie has given today. Namaste. Be well, be peace, be love, and so it is.